everybody and welcome back to an exciting episode of Jurassic World Alive. Do you know why? Because, oh, hold on guys, hold on. <laughs> I did it! I got into Nublar Shores, baby! <laughs> It kind of just happened. I did it. it. It just sort of happened. I was like, oh, I was just doing, you know, doing battles. And I knew this was happening. Two times I tried recording and being like, you know what? Let's live stream. Sorry, not record. Live stream. Let's have a look. Let's just see if I can get into New Blush Shores. I'm this close. I'm like two battles away. And each time I did it, nah. Didn't get close. I actually got further away. But of course, when I'm just doing it by myself, that's when it does it. So before we get into so much amazing stuff, oh, I can't wait. Let's have a look at what's coming up this week. Here are the events for uh, July 26th to the 1st of August. I'm doing this on Monday, which is the first day of the week. Probably the earliest I've done one of these in a long time, but you know, makes sense because now you can actually see what's coming up in the week. So Monday to Wednesday, you got your commons, you got your gallimimus, your nundasuchus, your irritated gentunia your velociraptor. Nobody really cares about those, if we're going to be honest, but they're there. Uh, Thursday and Friday, you got Tujongosaurus, Miol Miolania, I really don't know how to say that name, and Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2. Out of those, I would say um, Tujongosaurus, not really, because no one uses Dio anymore. Um, but T-Rex Gen 2 is used for Tenotosaurus, so maybe that, and Miolania is pretty decent as well. Uh, but really, the one you're looking forward to is always the weekend. Saturday to Sunday, not as good as the last one that just happened, but this time we've got Woolly Mammoth, T-Rex, and Monolophosaurus. Um, out of those, uh, it's up to you. T-Rex is quite common anyway, uh, or at least I found it to be quite common. So, I would suggest either Monolophosaurus or Woolly Mammoth. I don't know, probably one of those two. And of course, you've got all of the, you've got your attacks, your health, your speeds, all that jazz, but not as good as the week just gone, where you had a three, sorry, I should say six chances to dart a Willow Rhino and six chances to dart a Compi. Um, and unfortunately, I only darted three Rhinos because in my stupid monkey brain, I thought that it was going to be all weekend, just like this one is. But it wasn't. It was Saturday only and then Sunday only. I didn't even realize that. So when I came on the next day, I was like, oh, let's dart some the remaining Willy Rhinos. Wait, why is there Compies now? Oh, <laughs> but as you can see, the team, it's getting there. I mean, it, we've almost got here. We're, we really, 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 we're looking at Scorpius Rex Gen 3. Uh, not one of my MVPs, but definitely up there. Um, and we are, we've got one, we got three pops and all we need is 60. And we could get, we could get level 30 Scorpius Rex Gen 3 and also new Blast Shores in today's episode. I know guys. Crazy times. So, let's try it. Okay, fingers crossed. What are we gonna get? Uh, it's 10. Okay, we still got two more pops. Uh, you know, you might get a 30, you might get a 20. You never know. Let's keep going. But basically, we've almost got it maxed. Oh. Oh, it's it's, it's gonna be like this, is it? Is, you, you're gonna you're gonna do it. Come on, come on, 40. 40 at least! Oh, come on! The last ones are tens. Oh no. <laughs> We're 720, 750, 30 left, a minimum of three pops. All I need is, what, uh, 1,500 Gorgosaurus DNA, and then I am done. I am completely done with Scorpius Rex Gen 3. And finally, I can just now focus on boosts. Um, that's something that you will notice. Now I have 17,000 bucks. I took, I took the hit, guys. I took the financial hit. <laughs> there, was, there was a deal, uh, and I, sh I know I shouldn't do it. I know I never do this, but there was a really good one. It was, it was 99 pound. Uh, <laughs> but it was like this. Um, it, well, not like that, because that's actually the feeding and interactors. Um, but basically, it just gave you 15,000 bucks, as well as... I don't know what that gives you. It gives you an emote as well. Yeah, it's, it was like that, basically. Um, and it gave you some DNA, but really, it gave you 200 attack and health boosts and 100 speed. So, well, not boosts themselves, but, you know, that much. So, we're going to go into Model Orion, and I'd... How many... Ooh, I almost have three. <gasps> we could almost increase it by 150 attack. Or, or we could do in uh, Scorpius Rex Gen 3. Now, I am tempted more so for Scorpius Rex Gen 3, but at the same time, I feel like when I put Scorpius Rex Gen 3 in, I'm safer? I don't know. I just feel like I, I've, he can do more. Whereas Mon Rhino comes in, yes, I have the speed, and I don't really have too much health, and I don't really have that much attack. So it's like, he just kind of stays there, maybe does two hits and dies. And even the two hits he does do, 
aren't very good. So what I could guarantee, you know, is the, the definite impact, which can do a fair amount of damage. But you know what? We're going to put the three attack boosts. Oh, hold on. We need one more. I would have put another one. We are one away, apparently. Is it possible to get one attack boost by some of the supply drops? Oh, it is, actually. Look, I've got all of those except for oh, three bucks. Not bad. Not bad. I got all of those except for uh, the attack. So chances are high, right? I think there's, there's, there's a higher chance of you getting the there it is there it was beautiful getting um the more more stuff from it if you're actually on top of the supply drop if you're just sort of grabbing it from far away i mean yes you get less coin and stuff like that but i think you're guaranteed more chance of getting more like more books and especially with the interactions and stuff like that so here we go boom 1627 which is so crazy when i think about when I, I come across model ryan's with 2100 attack the difference i mean yes the level 30 but I mean, come on. That's like 500 extra attack onto this thing, which is ludicrous. But we are going to do it. We are going to... And what I could have done is more the tournament, but I don't know. I didn't like the tournament. Oh, three attack there. Hey, there we go. We're 97 left, and then we got more. Uh, we can boost again. Uh, so we'll just collect this. I mean, I didn't really try. As long as I get, like, I do the 10 battles, I'm all right. Really, I probably could have got more, but... Mm. And you get more attack, actually. Oh, wait. <gasps> Did I get a... <gasps> I got a name card in the lead. I don't I just like eggs or whatever it is. I don't know <laughs> what I'm using at the moment. But one of those. I got myself a lovely fan. Yes. Blow at me. Mmm. Nice and cool. Hold on. We need faster. Yes. That's nice. I like that. Okay. So we're going to do this. This might be the one and only time recorded that I do a new Blast Shores battle. Shall we do it? Let's go. Course. Course. No, let, let's do it. Let's see how far I can actually get. <gasps> Ooh. Yes. Oh, there's birdies in the background as well. Ooh, look at the beach. It's so nice. Right, what we got for our first battle? Not a bad team. Should we open with a Mortem Rex? I think we should open with a Mortem Rex. We, we may be here never again. Let's do it. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. Look at that. Oh, a Hadrosaur. A Hadrosaur looks... Oh, not bad. Not bad. It's got it's got a fair amount of health. It'll definitely survive my hit. And what's his attack? 2,300. It does actually have a speed boost in it. That's quite interesting. Right, so what are we expecting, guys? A switch in? I'm expecting a switch in. And are we willing to fodder him off? Are we willing to fodder it off is the question. Um, I don't know. I think because I got two swaps in, I might just be tempted to just swap in a Model Orion because why not? It's definitely faster. So if I want to, I can reduce the speed. Um, yeah, a new Sino is coming in. Oh, sorry, Saro. Oh, I go first. Brilliant. Stun it, even though it's immune. Also, there's new um, new changes coming to um, Jurassic World Alive soon. Um, I don't know if I can talk about it. Can I talk about it? I don't know if I can talk about it. Um... No, <laughs> I can't talk about stuff. Uh, but uh, not even that, but I've had people send me uh, links to, or at least somebody sent me something, and I don't know who, who did it. But there's got this, apparently there's changes coming to some dinosaurs that are quite well used and some that aren't. So we'll see, we'll see exactly what happens. Um, so he's definitely quicker now. He's probably going to go for the big hit. Um, ooh. I mean, if he does go for the big hit, how much damage can he do? 2,000. So, even if I reduce him... Yeah! Yeah, you know what? I may as well. I may as well. I may as well. I'll, I'll go I'll go for the survival. Uh, oh! I might I might as well just even... Oh, wait. Hold on. Yes. As long as, I was going to say, as long as it's not a crit, I'm good. So, he's spared reduced me here. Um, should I... Actually, should I just fodder it off? You think he'll just go for a big hit in case I switch, do you think? I think he will. Whoa! He went for his speed! Oh, that's interesting. Ooh. 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 Okay. So the max he can do is 4,000 and odd damage with the precise rampage. Ooh, it's tricky. It's tricky. Um... I mean, I think what I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Ooh, I don't know, I don't know. 
I think he can just go for it, can't he? He can go because there's one cooldown on the on the priority speed boost, I think. Yeah, so he can do it now. So he's probably going to think, yeah, I'm just going to go for speed boost and kill it. But you know what? No, you're not. I'm going to swap and kill you. So what does he have now? Worst case scenario, I, I don't want to see a Gripo. I may see a Gripo. We'll see. <laughs> if it's a Gripo, we're basically lost. Uh, so he does have a Hadrosaur. He might... Oh, a Gem and a Titan. That could have been an interesting start. Um, hmm. Right. Okay. Huh. Huh. So the speed reduction, yes. I mean, I'll have to take that. He's going to kill me with an exit with 4,300. But I may as well just do as much damage as I can here as possible. I might get a crit. Doesn't make a difference. I think I'm on, what, 20% chance to get a crit. But it's I'm, I'm pre pretty much dead anyway here. So he has a Gemini Titan. He has a Hadrosaur. It really depends what he has next. Um, now, I don't think there's anything I can do. Because if I go for a Mort... Ooh, it depends what his other dinosaur is, actually. Does he have a... D d okay, okay, okay. So... Hopefully, he fodders us off, and then he's got something really weak and slow, right? Hopefully, right? But we'll see, we'll see. Because I know I can probably kill his Hadrosaur Lux in one hit here if it goes for a heal. But it depends what his other dinosaur is, and if it's quicker than Mortem, which it is, we're dead. Well, guys, it was fun. It was loads of fun. We actually saw a Magnetator in the top. Um, what was the speed? 160 to 2200. So it's basically sp sped boosted with like no health on it. So there you go. And we'll never see Nublar Shores again. So that was lovely, wasn't it? <laughs> bye bye, sunset. Back to the bloody field for Jaris for your depot. <laughs> well, you know what? We'll give it one more shot, shan't we? Yes, we will. We'll give it another shot. See, see how well we can, can we? With one win, get back into New Blar Shores. Or is this it? <laughs> Basically. Oh, the, sm the Smiling Nemesis is actually a really good one to start with because you can go for the precise pounce and reduce my attack. So I may as well. I, I mean, I kind of expected it to happen. Uh, and then you can just go for the Rampage and run. So it's not too bad to start with against like, you know, a Mortem or an Argentinosaurus or something like that. I think, do we have a Sino? No, we don't have a Sino. Uh, which is a bit of a shame, but I'm expecting him to go for a rampage and run here. Now, if he does, which he will do, I'll, I'll let it, I'll take the loss with the Mortem. I'll take that and we'll see what he wants to put in first. And then at least, okay, right. Yes, now we have a good counter for, um, now, mm, it's either Spy Scorpius Rex Gen 3 or Utaranix. Either or are pretty good to counter. But I'm going to hold off on Scorpius Rex Gen. Uh, Gen, t Gen 3 at the moment. Because with this guy, we can go for this. And then he'll go for his shield and whatever. That's what he'll do. And then he'll go for a heal next turn. I mean, yeah, it's just... It's obvious. He might even just go for an attack here. But either way, he's not going to get that next turn. So he thinks, yeah, he's recovered. That's fine. But he's going to lose that attack now. So the attack's gone, and it's also reduced, and now his rendering will do the same amount of damage. So with Utaranix and Gripo, they, they kind of just sort of do enough damage to each other where it's um, they just nullify each other out, and they'll both kill each other around about the same time. <laughs> Even with Gripo's heals. Uh, so his counter's going to do zero damage here, I think. Yes, but his attack will actually do some damage because my other one's worn off now, so that's okay. So now we're going to go for this one. Uh, he might even switch out here thinking, Ooh, I don't like the way this is going, but nope, don't think he is. Don't think he is. So, yeah, his, his counter will do something here. And can he go for the shield yet? He can't go for the shield yet. Okay. He can uh, He can go for another um, another heal, I think. Oh, he's going for the swap. Oh, he got me down enough for the Mon Ryan to take me out. And the Mon Ryan's got 2,200 attack. This is what I mean. Ridiculous. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how they have so much attack. Um, and pretty much everything that I have is not good against Mon Ryan. So this is brilliant. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. So we'll, we'll just try and do so. He's not stunned. He doesn't bleed. Just everything about it. Oh, can he get stunned? It didn't come up with the immunity there. Maybe I wouldn't have stunned him. That's, that's a possibility. So we'll, we'll go for this hit here. And then we'll swap to our Mon Ryan. We, we're, we're basically lost. We've lost 3-0 here. 
Um, brilliant. You know, you spend all your time, you even spend money on the game, but it doesn't guarantee a victory, unfortunately. So now we'll switch, because he might be tempted just to get in his Gripo um, and just make sure that I can't switch out. Um, at least that's what I think he would do. And he's definitely, yeah. I thought, I thought that it's a good tactic just to be like, okay, right, you've, you've, you've secured the victory now. Um, 1,600. It should be 2,000. Is he completely resistant to stun? He's not. Okay, but I'm resistant to the uh, render. Right, okay. So now if he wanted to... Ooh, I mean, I might as well just go for that. Yeah, he's going to go for the heal and then probably switch out from to the model rhino, I would assume. So now the counter's going to do nothing, but we haven't won by any stretch. This is just a long loss. A long, long loss. It's <laughs> such a shame. And I'm not going to... I mean, how much damage can I do? 2,000 on last time. Now I do 2,400. It's still not enough, however. Um, what's he going to do? Is he attempting to switch back into his mono right? He's just swapping. I mean, he's just trying to get, you know, safe swaps in, safe damage, just to make sure that he doesn't die. Um, and even with the next... Where if he swaps... He's, hey, if I can even talk! If he swaps in Gripo, I still haven't killed him. And he'll get another counter off. And then he'll swap in Mono Ryan. Actually, he can't. Oh! Yes! We didn't lose 3 nil. Get in! <laughs> Brilliant! If we make a 3-2, I'll be happy. But I don't know about this, man. I don't know about this one. Um... I thought he's gonna go for precise pounds and then rampage and run and we're pretty much oh we're dead anyway. Well there you go. That was like the perfect team to counter the Spal and Emerson was an amazing counter for the Mortem. And then with the Model Rhino and the Gripo, Gripo just made sure that I, I couldn't switch out with certain things and he, oh, oh it was terrible, I hate it. But We've almost maxed up Scorpius X Gen 3. And this is what's gonna happen, right? I'll, next video, I'll come back to you guys and we'll be back in New Blanc Shores. But during a video, can't stay in there for, like, barely get in there. And if I do, it's staying for one second. So, hey, oh, there it is. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Bye-bye. Oh,